lead vocalist for one of the most successful rock acts of all time, Joe Elliott of Def Leppard has just released his latest album titled My Regeneration with his side project Down and Outs. The band is comprised of Elliott and London's own Choir Boys and features 13 modern cover versions of rare tracks by Martha Hoople, Ian Hunter and British Lions. The whole project started when organizers were looking for openers for the reunion show of 70s rock band Martha Hoople, whose David Bowie penned All the Young Dudes is still a classic. They suggested that Mott fan Elliot team with Choir Boys to play a set for the gig. After the gig being successful, one thing led to another and they headed into the studio to record My Regeneration, which was produced by Joe with co-production by Ronan McHugh. Artisan News caught up with Joe Elliott to find out when Down and Outs became a formal side project and why the band decided to make a record. Down and Outs became a formal idea in March of 2009 when um, I got uh, the heads up that Mott the Hoople were reforming for some shows in October and they'd asked me to um, participate in some form or other with the reunion. Um, kind of expecting to just maybe welcome them on stage or something like that. Uh, it was pointed out that it needed to be a little bit more than that. So it was suggested that I open for them on the last night of their five night run. And um, the promoters of the show f um, kindly suggested that the London Choir Boys would be a perfect band to back me. And we, we rehearsed the songs and we met for the first time. We rehearsed the songs and then we did the gig and it was 45 minutes and then it was done. And we looked at each other and went, nah, this is, not right. You can't put all this work in for 45 minutes, so we decided that uh, the best thing to do was make an album. Martha Hoople was built around the songwriting and vocals of Ian Hunter, and Joe Elliott also talked about the influence they had on his career. I still listen to everything that the guy puts out. I mean, his new album, Man Overboard, is a fantastic record, and he continuously entertains me and astounds me his, his energy, I mean, he's, he's not 21 years old anymore. And he still continuously makes fantastic music. He's been a, a huge influence on my musical life, even since I was 10 years old. Joe also talked about opening for the reunion of Martha Hoople and why that was one of the highlights of his life. Brilliant. Yeah. O opening up for Martha Hoople is one of the highlights of my life, not necessarily my career, in my life, you know, I mean, Leopard have done a lot of great things. We've done gigs in front of a million people. We've done gigs all over the world. We've had such amazing success with record sales and all that kind of stuff. But to be able to physically be involved in something that was such a, a monumental part of your youth at the age of what, I was 49 at the time, or was I 50 already? Um, was It's hard to explain because I'm so in love with the music that those guys created it can sometimes come across as obsessive but um, to me it's no different to Eric Clapton's love affair with Robert Johnson or just the blues in general so mine's more specifically about one band an extended version of the album will also be released July 13th and will include three extra tracks unavailable on the original release down and Outs has been confirmed to play the inaugural High Voltage Festival at Victoria Park, London on Sunday, July 25th. My Regeneration is the first part in a series of projects by Down and Outs, which will also include a forthcoming DVD of the Hammersmith Apollo performance opening for Mott the Hoople. Look for more tour dates to be announced in the near future, although Joe Elliott did mention Def Leppard are currently writing material for a brand new upcoming album, and Joe will tell all in the coming days and weeks.